team has been averaging over 18 goals a game, but they have only one, and we have 10 minutes to play in the half. Here's Pennsylvania's Chris Flynn once again. Good quickness. Drop the ball. Scaramazzino corrals it for Syracuse. Shovels it over to Schluter on the left. Here's Schluter on the run. Syracuse with a fast break right to left. Schluter winding up. Hard for him to shoot with that long stick. He'll get rid of the ball and feed Zeke as Alberti even with the cage on the left. Now to Gary Gate behind. Canaris stuffed it in. Tremendous goal. Gary Gate leaps over the cage and stuffed it in. And Syracuse has tied the game at 2-2 on a tremendous goal by Gary Gate. He stuffed it in from behind the cage. And we are even 2-2. Bill, we saw this in the warm-ups. He's been working on this all week. This play was something he worked on. He was able to develop it in box. He's got the skills. He just takes off, leaps over the crease area, stuffs it home. Unbelievable, unprecedented in the field game. First time ever had been done. I can guarantee you that. And watch it develop as it goes behind. Now they'll throw. Zoberti will pull the defense in and give it to Gate, who'll have a little bit of a run so he can get some elevation. He comes right over Canaris, absolutely stunned, didn't know what to do. And by the time Canaris reacted, the ball was already in the net. That's got to be one of the most dramatic goals ever in the history of this tournament. Second half underway here from the Carrier Dome. And Syracuse still with the extra man. Down by a goal, but up by a man here in the opening seconds of the third quarter. Bill, terrible mistake by Penn. They had possession, and they absolutely threw it away to give Syracuse a chance at the extra man goal. Now they're getting the right personnel in there. Paul Gate comes in to the goalie's left, to the bottom of our screen. There's Gary Gate, 22. Paul, his brother, 19. Their left hand cannons, and they want to get the shot. Here's Roos wide open, 20 yards from the cage moving in, does not fire it away. Instead, passes to Wiegand, and they pass it around the cage in a clockwise motion. So Bernie's saying, what's going on? He Gate again, did he get it in? Yes, he did. Gary Gate has done it again as he scales the net, goes flying through the air. He is becoming the Michael Jordan of lacrosse, going through the air and dunking it in from behind. Absolutely incredible. You know, this is a guy who is inventing a shot. You're seeing history. Gary Gate is inventing a shot. He's been successful once, which makes it hard to believe that Canaris will let him do it again. He launches himself, tremendous height on the throw. The goalie goes in there. The ball, it looked very hard to me to tell whether it was inside or out. He couldn't even tell. Let's take another angle. Paul, or Gary drops it first, gets the defense frozen, and then launches himself up. Now, Canaris, slow to react, doesn't knock the ball back. There it goes, Gate gets his second over the back goal. He's inventing a shot. History right here being made by Gary Gate, the unbelievable player from Canada. Stripped of the ball, Syracuse possession left to right, and here come the Orangemen. They have not led in this game. It is 4-4 now, and Syracuse has a fast break as Egan fires it. Whistle birdie in front, a shot just wide by Schluter as he bounced it. That was a chance for a goal to put him ahead. Schluter got it right where he wanted it on the crease. They clear so well these long sticks. He got the shot and missed the goal. That's the reason Canaris didn't have much to say about this. Watch Zalberti go right back to the crease to the long stick, usually a defenseman, and he misses the six by six, or else that could have been the one to put Syracuse ahead today. The extra man goal by Gary Gate is 67th goal of the season. Coming 51 seconds into the quarter. You know, the coaching staff told us yesterday that he was working on that shot in practice this week, though, and Ira was really hesitant to believe that it could be effective. Two for two from behind the goal. Unreal. Here's Zilberti. Weak pass to Roos is nearly picked off. Roos will chase it down and shovel it back to Zilberti. Egan regains it on the turf behind the cage. Four, four game, two minutes gone by, second half. Here's Gary Gate. Here he comes again. He shoots and scores. What a great play by Gate. And knocked him away with that big upper body and then moved it around Canaris and put Syracuse up 5-4. This is what makes him so great. He is so physically imposing. He's very strong along with the skills that he has with his stick work. Watch how McCartney, number 39, doesn't knock him off his wheels. You gotta take him down. You can't just bounce off him. Look, he bounces off him. McCartney gets help from Canaris with the great stick work of Gary Gate, puts the ball between the two players. We'll watch it again. And the key being, you've got to knock him down if you're going to hit him. McCartney gives him a hit, not enough to knock him down. Canaris comes out to double, but the slick stick work puts the ball between the two players. Gary Gates taking over as we thought he would. Three goals today. 68 goals. Next would be 69. Evan Davis of Arizona in 1985 has that record. That's the all-time record. Most of those goals came against club teams. 
5-4 Syracuse. Flynn steals that pass from Durgel. But it's picked up by the Orangeman. Paul Gate over to Gary. Feeds in front. They score! And Silverby put it in. And Syracuse is exploding in the opening moments of the third quarter. Well, Gary Gates set it up beautifully. It was a changeup. He's reinventing every shot you've seen in the history of lacrosse. He's now patented the behind-the-goal shot. Watch this if we get a chance to look at it. It's a changeup. He's got an 80, 90, 100-mile-an-hour shot from the outside. Paul, his brother, picks it up. He looks for Gary to our right. Now watch Gary. He'll fake the shot. And a little changeup feed inside to Zoberti while the defense sags in for the hard crank shot. And that was what made it successful. So 